Strong incendiary rounds. Attention. I didn't expect a thief to spread the wealth. My pleasure. I'd tell you everything about it, but how boring would that be? Elstar here. Very rare plasma weapon. Arkstar here. Not much damage, but it'll slow him down. Wingman here. Slow, but it's got serious stopping power. Standard stock here. Reduces recoil. Mozambique here. Two to the chest, one to the head. Solid shotgun pistol. P2020 here. Standard issue, because it's dependable. You know how to use it, I assume. You are the expert. Or so I hear. Bangalore is that character in-game that helps to guide new players, offering assistance and tips about all of the weapons and attachments the game has to offer. But over time, that information becomes annoying, and as the game evolves, sometimes just completely and factually wrong. Bangalore stops looking like the seasoned army sergeant and more like an annoying stuck-up character that thinks he knows everything about the world. Despite that air of superiority, Bangalore's urges to shout out everything she knows about weapons and military equipment sort of delves into her deeper personality and insecurities, and it paints a picture of how she fails to let go of the past, despite everything around her moving forward. Today, I want to explore Bangalore's story that is subtly shared through these voice lines, and of course, I'll show all of the existing Bangalore smarty pants voice lines that currently exist near the end too. But first, I'd like to thank today's sponsor. Big thanks to my friends at NVIDIA for sponsoring this video. They wanted me to show you GeForce Now. With this, you can play all of your favorite games on almost anything, whether you've got an old laptop, an iPad, or a literal toaster computer. GeForce Now will give you great frames on the highest graphics in all your favorite games. We're basically running the game through the internet. I know there's always been a lot of discussion about these kinds of services, but I truly think this is the future. With GeForce Now, the responsiveness is great. I tried it and you can move around and shoot and I couldn't really see any latency between my controls and the in-game movement. Depending on your upload speed, the resolution can change, but if you're playing on an old laptop or something like a smartphone with a controller plugged in, there's no way you'd get better resolution anyway. And if you have good internet, you should expect a really seamless HD experience. You can play hundreds of free-to-play games straight off the bat like Apex or League of Legends, or you can install games you already own on Steam, the Epix Game Store and you play. There's two different plans, a free plan that lets you have unlimited one hour sessions or the founders plan that lets you get unlimited six hour sessions and priority access to servers. So as soon as you've finished, you can pretty much just start up again. You can click the link in the description now to sign up to GeForce Now at a discounted rate. So let's take a look at who Bangalore is because it will paint a better picture of why she has all this knowledge tucked into her brain and why it seems so important for her to spout it out. Bangalore was born on a military planet called Grid Iron. It was an IMC controlled planet that was used to train and house soldiers for the IMC war. Growing up there, Bangalore was born into that military lifestyle. Her family was military, her parents were military, and she grew up alongside her four brothers, all of which trained to be IMC military personnel. This meant being brought up in a school where everything there was to learn was about weapons, military tactics, and the code of honor and war that the everyday IMC soldier took into battle, and she excelled in her classes. This is from the EA page on Bangalore. She was top of her class at the IMC Military Academy and the only cadet who could take apart a peacekeeper, equip it with a precision choke hop-up, and put it back together in under 20 seconds, blindfolded. So of course she felt a sense of pride as she became more knowledgeable and skilled. I mean, she was surrounded by that lifestyle, so it certainly makes sense. She is also one of the few legends in the arena that was on the front lines of the war. We don't really know how things were resolved, but it couldn't have been easy for her. In fact, it was later revealed that she fought alongside her brother, Jackson, in a battle at Gridiron. Later, her, her brother, and an IMC squad were set to take a mission out to the Outlands. We don't know what happened, but the squad seemed to have escaped, with Jackson and Anita Bangalore left behind. In an Outlands journal extract posted on the EA website, more details were revealed about what went down. Let me read this out to you. Later that year, an interesting name appeared during our research into black box transcripts from fallen IMC ships. Sergeant First Class Anita Williams, 
Williams served with her brother, Lieutenant Jackson Williams, on the IMS Hestia. While these names might not appear familiar at first glance, Sergeant Williams is more popularly known as the Apex Legend Bangalore. All attempts to reach Sergeant Williams were ignored. At one point, she threatened bodily harm if we continued harassing her, as if civilians seeking the truth were somehow the antagonists in all of this. This transcript details the final moments of her brother's life. All clear in Southwest Quadrant, Screening Southeast Quadrant now, starting an airlock Bravo. It's assumed she's speaking to the ship's captain here. This was soon after Operation Long Spear and many soldiers on the Hestia were in triage. All hands were on deck for perimeter checks. Appreciate you helping us out with the perimeter checks, Sergeant. You're one of the few soldiers who made it through in one piece. No thanks necessary. Orders are orders, sir. Still, you could have argued with me. I don't argue with officers who outrank me. At this point we hear a chuckle. Assumption is that it's Jackson, as records indicate they were the only two in the airlock. So, you know, they're joking about military orders, they're obviously very close. That's so, I'll remind you of that on Christmas, when I call dibs on your slice of Nana's red velvet cake. Try it and I'll duct tape you to the wall. All clear in airlock bravo. Noise heard outside on hull. What was that? Atmospheric debris. Happened all the time out here. Come on, we've got three quarters of the hull we still have to get through, and we haven't even got to the... Sergeant, stand back. I'm telling you, you're worried about nothing. I gave an order, Sergeant. Copy. It must be really interesting for her to, like, take orders from a brother like this. An identified movement. I have a 406T on the outer hull and airlock bravo. Engaged. I repeat, engaged. A 406, that's a... Damn it, Nita. Get the... Away from the... Duration of recording difficult to transcribe due to explosive depressurization. Jackson, hold. Nita, can't... Hold Jackson. So as we understand it, she is holding on to her brother's hand and you can see in this artwork here what happens basically. This is a concept art by the way. So they already planned Bangalore's story way, way early on like all of their legends. We now have a summary of what happened here. She remembers the conversation as revolving around Thanksgiving, not Christmas. She remembers grabbing the handle of the holding area door but doesn't remember whether she grabbed her brother's hand to save him or he grabbed hers. Are these the mistakes of a woman who suffered a traumatic experience or something else entirely? Surprisingly, Sergeant Will Williams did tell us in an unhinged tirade that her brother was not dead. Does she know something this transcript doesn't tell us? Is the truth about Lieutenant William Steph far more sinister? What, if anything, does Apex legend Bangalore know about the last day of the Frontier War after the communications blackout of 2715? Is she aware no one returned from that final battle at Gridiron? Does she know who won the war? To me, it's clear. Bangalore tried to hold onto her brother's arm and she lost her grip and she blames herself for his death. Seeing that firsthand must be devastating. Either way, Bangalore was trapped in the Outlands and had no way to get back to Gridiron, she had no knowledge of what happened there, and she had lost her brother, and in her mind it was her fault. So she joined the Apex Games in the hopes that she could save enough money to return to Gridiron. Of course, over time, things evolved. A new post-war era started, and there was little talk about the war anymore. Things moved on, and a new society was born. Bangalore was one of few who got to see both sides, but she absolutely is going to miss her old life. So let's get back to Bangalore's voice lines. To me, I don't think Bangalore is trying to come across as this military expert that she wants everybody to look up to. In fact, I think these voice lines show her weaknesses, her yearning to hold onto the past. In fact, many of the things she says has this bittersweet nostalgia for it. Take this piece. 2020 voice line, for example. P2020 here. I grew up with one of these. She holds all of her memories about her past life and family in the military training that she picked up. Bangalore may seem cold on the outside, showing little emotion and coming across as a stern IMC sergeant, but every time she comes across a P2020, a Mozambique or a sniper stock, she has those memories of her past life flooding back to her. By shouting out things she learned in her past life, she's holding on to it. She hasn't given up hope yet and hopes one day she can return to Gridiron and find the truth about what happened to her family. I actually like the fact that some of the quips now don't really make sense. Her saying a Mastiff is rare just isn't true, but things change on the battlefield just like how the game evolves over time. I know this is probably just an oversight by the developers, but to me it just shows that she's so focused on holding onto her past that she's being blind to the military advancements happening right in front of her. I think Bangalore's story could have the potential to be the most gripping and interesting, and if we ever get a story from the Outlands for her, I think it's going to be the most surprising. 
It will create a new way for us to look at her and the subtle tellings of her current personality will finally officially be explained, which I think will be great. To me, Bangalore's personality is one of the best once you look at the subtle voice quips in game. I love how much story is packed into Apex Legends. I know every last voice line, every last tone that goes into the words have meaning and I can't wait for the story to evolve. So next, I'm going to showcase all of the voice quips that I found out about Bangalore and then I'll take a look at some other voice quips I have planned for other characters character lore videos like Crypto and Mirage, so definitely leave your feedback about which story you'd like me to cover next. And I have to say a big thanks to Nvidia GeForce Now because if it wasn't for them I wouldn't have been able to make this so easy. I could run another version of Apex in the background with Nvidia GeForce Now and it had no impact on the performance of Apex running already so I could go into the firing range and in game and test these voice lines and record them in duos mode without ruining anybody else's fun. Ultimate accelerant here. Great for a tactical advantage. Alternator here. Two alternating fire barrels. Easy to control. Extended heavy mag here. Ammo up. Arcstar here. You can stick them to targets. Body shield here. You need one if you don't have it. Barrel stabilizer here. Helps reduce muzzle rise. Devotion here. Increases rate of fire over time. Longbow here. A marksman's best friend. Flash hider here. Hides that muzzle flash. Flatline here. Hits harder than the 301, but harder to control. Eva 8 here. Don't need to worry about short stroke and a pump. Frag grenade here. Solid area of effect. G7 scout here. Light sniper. Very high rate of fire. Havoc rifle here. Takes a sec to warm up, but very powerful. Helmet here. Mind those headshots. Hemlock here. Three round burst. Best AR at range. Kraber here. Rare sniper for you marksman. L-star here. Very rare plasma weapon. Mastiff here. Very rare. Strong incendiary rounds. Medkit here. Slow to roll, but they work the best. Mozambique here. Two to the chest, one to the head. Solid shotgun pistol. Optics here. Always better than iron sights. Threat vision optics here. Highlights your enemies. Variable range optics here. Makes your platform more versatile. P2020 here. Standard issue because it's dependable. Peacekeeper here. Hop up chokes the spread. Phoenix kit here. Patches you up good. Shield and health. Prowler SMG here. Hop up turns this baby full auto. Versatile platform from close to long range. Versatile platform from close to long range. R99 here. Good recoil, but it empties fast. RE45 here. Nice auto pistol for close combat. Knockdown shield here. Gonna need one of these if you're bleeding out. Shotgun bolt here. Bolts increase rate of fire. Spitfire here. Good mid-range suppression. Standard stock here. Reduces recoil. Sniper stock here. Helps maintain that sight picture. Triple take here. Very little projectile drop at range. Wingman here. Most powerful handgun on the fronts here. Yeah, I've got you, old man. You're welcome. What? No, no, no. Oh, you couldn't have just let me die, crypto? This is so... This is dumb. This way. All right, but if you get us killed, Mirage, I'll kill you again. Don't like how you dealt with Forge, but you're still squad. For now. I'm leaving out. Not you, Miss Paquette. Your mind is too valuable to the scientific community. Thank you, Doctor. I knew you couldn't be as bad as everyone says. Your gratitude is acknowledged. I couldn't save Papa. But I can save you, Dr. Kashyyyk. That revive technique is marvelous. We must discuss the merging of our life's works. Zoria. The sniper ammo here. Thanks. Let's be brothers. Alright everybody, thank you so much for watching, leave your feedback and thoughts and I'll see you in the comments. And once again, thanks to NVIDIA for sponsoring this video. Make sure to check the link in the description to try NVIDIA GeForce Now for yourself. Cheerio! Did you know I stream almost every day from 7pm UK time or 11am Pacific Standard Time? You can catch me live right here on YouTube, so make sure you have notifications turned on. I also have a new members program. Become a member for $2.99 a month, get your comments highlighted in videos, get a cool badge in live stream chat, get access to these cute emotes and also gain access to my members tips videos, where you can ask me for any tips and I'll be making new videos weekly to help you improve your own game. Click the join button or click the link in the video description to get involved.